Byron. Thanks, Chris. Um, I just wanted to say uh, also thank you to Bernard. I thought he did a great job on giving some more clarity around the notion of multi-stakeholder and the continuum um, in which the importance of various actors in a multi-stakeholder environment uh, hold. But what I wanted to say uh, primarily was that the internet is what it is today to a great degree because of the multi-stakeholder bottom-up environment that uh, it was created with. It really is a dynamic, uh, living, vibrant organism. And before we throw on additional layers of government and governance, uh, another layer of blanket, or probably a cynic would say a wet blanket on it, we need to be very careful about doing that. I would ask all the participants in this room to think back 10 years, and if we'd said, let's, lead an let's let an intergovernmental organization create and drive the internet, where would we be today? I think the next question I would ask is, why would we go forward differently for the next 10 years of the internet? Now, I hear what Parminder says and, and that line of reasoning, and I'm not so naive to think that because of the scale we're at, that the next 10 years aren't different than the last 10 years. And the governments are really waking up to the importance of the internet and the internet to governments. But I've also heard considerably or considerable discussion around the role of the GAC. Uh, that there are 100 members, 40 show up, and a handful really participate and do the heavy lifting. Roll up their sleeves was, I think, the expression we heard uh, just a little bit earlier. So there's an existing structure for governments to participate in that, from all accounts, is a fairly underutilized one. Uh, in Seoul, the OECD meeting, uh, there were a number of stats that were thrown about, but one that really struck me was in the last 10 years, the economy has grown, and I probably have the numbers somewhat wrong, but the order of magnitude will be right, that the global economy has grown roughly 50-some percent in the last decade, but the Internet economy has grown roughly 12,000 percent in that same timeline. So before we jeopardize that, I think we need to think very carefully about additional layers of governance and government. They have an absolutely critical role to play, but we do have good vehicles, and by all accounts, underutilized vehicles, for them to play that role in. Thank you, Byron.